Well, as you can see, I got it apart yet again. What I'm doing is I'm changing uh, the input uh, uh, hose from the pump to the control body. And that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, just to give you an idea, there's the, uh, there's the pump. Notice the hose is missing. And this hose travels down through here, through this uh, little piece of pipe that's welded on here. And then it goes into the uh, area where the uh, pivot ram is. And then it goes through this area here. And then goes up here. And it's marked hose number 6. Uh, I don't know if that's significant or anything else, but... Um, or if yours is going to be the same, but this one is marked hose number six. And I believe there is a six already um, on the rams. So, but that's the input uh, to the um, valve body from the output of the pump. And uh, <clears throat> when I brought it over to the hydraulic place that I've been working with, uh, they uh, suggested because of the um, bottleneck that we have is to go to 5 16 um, uh, size uh, hose in order to uh, achieve a little bit more volume up to the um, uh, valve body. Because they said this valve body will hold or it should pass about uh, 10 gallons per minute. Okay? And... Um, with that hose, with the quarter-inch hose, it's uh, very much restricted. Now, to give you an idea, here's the uh, here's the two hoses. The silver one um, on the right is the five sixteenths, and the uh, uh, the uh, brass-colored one um, on the left is quarter-inch. Look at the difference in the size of it. It's quite a bit. What they did is they built all the hoses the same. They're all the they're all the same uh, fittings and everything. Uh, the only difference is, of course, that um, uh, they're uh, five sixteenths, which makes them twenty five percent larger, and that's significant. Also, to let you guys know, the hose that they uh, that they use is rated at 10,000 PSI. So the hose that I have is rated at 5,000. That's twice the amount of the pump. The one that comes with it is rated at four times. Isn't that something? So there's that, there's that number I was telling you about, number six. That's upside down, of course, with the line. But uh, there you have it. Also what I found on the hose, let me get this where I can find it, is that, um, yeah, it's going to make a liar out of me. Oh, here it is. Um, look at the chafing. Okay. And that chafing was down inside of where you can't see it, of course. And it was, uh, uh, rubbing the uh, from the uh, pivot ram, so just to let you know, if you uh, if you got one of these, you may want to take off um, this um, protection, uh, the floor protection that they have, and put something under that or around it uh, so that you don't end up uh, wearing it through and getting a leak. If you don't intend to change the um, the um, hose, but you uh, want to uh, take and keep it from leaking, uh, that would be a, uh, a good idea to do as soon as you can. Um, that's about, this machine, it's got about 20, it's got about 80 hours of operation. You know, not that much on the engine and pumps and stuff, but um, as far as the hoses go, it has about 80, 80 hours on it. So, in 80 hours, um, that uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, has started to uh, shape that uh, hose substantially. 
Okay, there's a lot to go. There's wire in it. It's not like it was ready to blow or anything, but just to keep you on the safe side. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that uh, the new hose and get that installed. And um, it should uh, reduce the bottleneck by about, uh, he said 20 to 25 percent uh, right now. So that means uh, when you pull um, two control, two control lever functions at a time, um, it should increase the speed of both of those by 12.5% each. That's basically what he said, um, according to his calculations. So, because that volume of the, uh, of the valve assembly, that can uh, pass uh, through it uh, flow rates uh, of more than 10 gallons per minute. So, um, but because we were restricted by the delivery to it, um, he feels that that's where the bottleneck was for the, uh, the two controls. Even though this one runs substantially faster with the new pump, I'm sure with the new hose it's going to run even faster uh, for that kind of delivery. Uh, where, if you remember, when I raised the pressure up way high, but not to, um, what I did is I set the volume way up, uh, what happened was we were getting a lot of heat on the hoses and the functions were not really happening too much because I had so much um, volume going through the thin hose that um, it was making everything a little jerky and choppy and that's when I was saying I was throwing dirt around. So uh, we want to have a little smoother operation. So that's what this should do because now instead of just bringing that oil in there fast and hot, um, I now have increased the volume, so that should help. So there you have it. Um, I'll give you a report after I get everything installed and let you know um, how it's functioning. So, all right, we'll catch you a little bit later.